This is basically the folder that you guys will see once you download it. And as you guys can notice, I can keep and keep and keep scrolling because these are actually over 100,000 fonts. The file size is actually quite huge. It's over 10 gigabytes. So I have to warn you guys that when you're downloading this, you might have to let it run for a couple hours. How you, of course, install them all at once. You're not going to do this one by one. That just simply doesn't exist. What we're going to do is we're going to select them all. So, of course, we're not going to go and select them like this. What we're going to do is we're going to press in somewhere in our folder on an empty space and we're going to press Control a on to our keyboard that's basically going to highlight everything in the folder once everything is selected you want to right click and you want to hit install right here so of course depending on your system you know how long it takes once everything is installed you don't have to like restart your computer for example everything is just readable so how it essentially works is i would actually recommend to restart vegas not really like just your entire computer so once we have vegas back open right here what we're going to do is we're going to go to the media generators tab we're going to drag in the titles and text right here at the very bottom then we're going to drag in just the default sample text right here not any of these pre-animated ones then we're going to just type in for example our youtube name and then of course right here we have the font menu we're going to click on there and right here of course we can just click on one and then once everything is highlighted you can use the arrow key on your keyboard just to browse through and of course you can actually browse for quite a while if you want to go through 100,000 fonts so that looks really really nice guys these are just completely for free to use you can just use them in your videos to spice up you know your regular like subtitles or something like this that you're using because of course Vegas with every new version it does actually add in new fonts here and there but I have to mention that once you start using all of these fonts it is just like a whole new world opens up because if i'm going to drag in let's say a solid color behind it you can just use for example shadow as well so let's say that we're going to browse a little bit further let's say we're going to pick this classic style font and then right here we have the outline menu then we're going to just bring this slider all the way up now of course the outline is white so that's why you see this but then we can just change the color for example to black so once you bring up the outline right here it looks very very nice and we can also do that for the shadow if we click on this check mark now we can just have this really really cool shadow you can also bring the offset x and the y down if you want to to really really customize it how you want to have it like how far it is a distant from the text this is basically how to install these fonts but i have to mention if you don't have winrar or winzip yet you have to download that it's a free program just to be able to extract the folder with all the fonts and once everything is installed you guys can just install them all in bulk and then everything is ready to go right here in vegas so it is that simple this is how you install fonts and by the way guys if you use photoshop for example or premiere pro it is actually exactly the same all the fonts will be readable on all the softwares on your computer even in wordpad if you want to because if you're going to install fonts you're going to install them into your windows system and not like separately only in vegas for example the majority of the work is not going to be like installing but of course downloading because it's actually quite big of a file size that's just the way that you guys know that you can guys go for go on for years because you have so many fonts to choose from so this is a really cool 100 plus thousand font packs this is basically a clip that i have that we're going to render out so the first thing that we have to know is obviously um and that also uh leads me to a question that i got on instagram dm so many times is people having problems with rendering the videos um into the right format they will either have like black bars appearing all of a sudden when they're rendering while the preview like this is totally fine these kinds of problems so the thing that i want to cover today is not only the best render settings but how to avoid certain black bars how to uh, like avoid errors how to avoid your videos getting corrupted when the video is finished because let's say that you're finishing a video and it took you 30 minutes you walk away you come back and you try to play the video and the video is like zero minutes long it's zero seconds it doesn't play back and you have no idea what went wrong i'm going to show you exactly how to fix all of these problems so let's start off with the first thing which is obviously having our video right here in the timeline so what you always want to do when you finish editing your video you want to highlight everything in your timeline that you want to export and then you want to press d on your keyboard a couple times until you see this little icon highlight all the video files or the video tracks in your audio in your project i mean not your audio tracks because that's not going to help then you want to right click and then you want to make sure you click on 
on switches and you want to hit disable resample that's going to avoid frame blending so your video will look a lot smoother especially for gaming videos recorded in higher frames per second so now that we have done that we want to check one final thing and that is the project settings or the properties so right here if you're wondering what your video is shot in and the resolution you can pretty much if you drag in a video a clip let's say from your iphone and you don't know if it's 1080p or 720 if you drag that video in you can clearly see right here on the bottom what kind of resolution and frame rate it is so you want to render that out in this exact setting so right now we know that this clip is right here 1920 by 1080 it is 60 frames per second so we're not going to render this out in 4k we're not going to render this out in 720p you guys know what i'm trying to say so now we're going to go to file and we're going to hit render as and the standard format for videos online on youtube and social media and all that is obviously mp4 so i would just recommend to pick magix avc slash aac mp4 and 90 percent of the time you will also see a little uh, equal sign next to the preset and that equal sign basically means that it's matching your project properties but if it doesn't for example on all these ones right here we're gonna make a custom one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the regular 1080p from youtube 29970 then we're going to hit customize template and then we're going to change a couple settings which are quite important right here so the thing that you want to do is you want to pick the frame size which is obviously going to be the one that you shot it in so that's obviously going to be 1920 by 1080 full hd you want to make sure that this one is unchecked so because if you're going to check this you're going to allow the source to adjust the frame size and you don't want that you just want to keep that unchecked so that your frame rate and your and your frame size is locked in so then the profile is going to stay on main right here the frame rate is really really important so if you filmed your video in 30 fps it might look tempting to say like all right i want to have the quality sharper or smoother i'm going to render it out in 50. well that doesn't really work because the video is not uh, recorded in 50 to begin with so you want to always make sure that you match that you render your video when it's a matching frame rate so if you filmed it in 30 fps you want to keep it on 29 970 ntsc but this video is recorded in 60 frames or animated in 60. so i'm going to drag this one or click on 59 right here the field order is going to be non-progressive scan. The pixel aspect ratio is going to be 1.0000. The number of reference frames is going to be 2. You want to leave pretty much all of that how it is right here. That looks good. The only thing that I would recommend is go to the audio tab. Make sure that you include your audio. Otherwise, if you don't have this enabled, you're not going to render out your voice or your game audio or your music or whatever. And then you go to the project tab. And right here, it says video rendering quality. You want to choose best in the drop down menu. And then you're pretty much good to go. So we're to call this for example a youtube preset 60 fps then you want to hit this diskette icon which is going to save the preset and then if you're going to hit okay as you notice it shows an equal sign because we just picked 60 frames per second which is obviously showing right here 59 940 so now that we have done that obviously some people ask like why are certain resolutions 1440 by 1080 instead of 1920 well that's the thing when you upscale videos or if you want to record something in 4k for example you do always want to make sure that you pick 1920 by 1080 because sometimes if you pick 1440 the width is going to be different than your height you want to always make sure that that one actually fits and that it matches so now that we have done that what we're going to do is we're going to give this file a name let's say we're going to call this test render then the location is going to be let's say our desktop right here you can also see our estimated file size is going to be a nine megabytes big so that is pretty much uh, the file size we can expect sometimes it can be 8 it can be 10 because obviously it's estimated and then once you hit render as it's going to render out your video you will have your box right here where you can also choose to manage the uh, or, or basically monitor the performance how many frame rates you're using right now your cpu usage your memory usage all of that it's really handy it's not going to change anything to the video but that's pretty much how it works and then when your video is finished exporting you can go ahead and drag this straight onto youtube you can upload it onto any other platform that you want to render this out for and that's pretty much how to use the best render settings for youtube in 1080p in uh, vegas pro 20 but obviously guys i'm going to cover also the other uh, presets like uh, 4k maybe even 8k to a certain extent i just have to see like how these actual settings work because i don't have 
footage in that high of a quality but that's pretty much the basics you need to know guys you have saved your preset and you're pretty much good to go when it comes to rendering your videos for YouTube in 1080p and I'm gonna give you a little tip if you want to render out your video in 1080p for example 30 frames per second you just want to go to the project properties and then you want to change the settings as well to let's say 30 frames per second frame rate if it might change so but it all depends obviously on how you have recorded the video because there is no need to change the frame rate inside Vegas Pro now we are in Vegas Pro, but I do want to mention that you cannot use the regular Vegas Pro 19 version for this. You need the Vegas Pro 365 subscription that is basically Vegas Pro 19, but then in a monthly subscription in order to use this feature. So what we're gonna do is after you have picked up that version, you can find the link down in the description if you open up Vegas Pro and if you installed it, it is very, very simple. So right here on the very top, we have the tools button. Then we're gonna go down until we see text to speech. Now, of course, if you're gonna do this in regular Vegas Pro 19, you would actually see this prompt, like you need a Vegas Pro 365 license and all that. But right now I have actually got myself a copy of Vegas 365 just for this video to show you guys this really, really awesome feature. So once you have installed it, this is the box that you will see. So right here, of course, we can type in the text. So let's go ahead and type in hi my name is Alex welcome back to a new video about Vegas Pro 19 in this tutorial we are going over the feature which is called text to speech to see how cool and realistic this feature sounds. All right, cool. So now that you've done that, right here we have actually a lot of different settings we can tweak. So right here we also have a lot of different features that we can customize, such as the voice, the audio format, the place. So right here it says create where. So right here, of course, we're going to pick the project media and timeline, meaning that this will be put in our timeline as well as in the project media tab, or you can only just insert this one into your project media, which is this one right here at this tab, and it will not include it into the timeline. I would actually just suggest to keep it on project media and timeline because otherwise you just have to drag it in from the media from the project media tab yourself so now that we've done that right here we have the voice of course like what kind of voice do you want do you want to have like an english one do you want to have a male a female so right here if we browse through we have all kinds of accents we have english hong kong new zealand philippines singapore we have all kinds of different voices that we have right here. So let's go and pick the standard one, the USA, the male, and let's click on the audio format, which is going to be the highest, which is gonna be the wave format. And then the place is going to be, let's say around default. And now let's go ahead and click on playback. Hi, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a new video about Vegas Pro 19. In this tutorial, we are going over the feature, which is called text to speech to see how cool and realistic this feature sounds. So that sounds really, really nice. So let's switch this one to female and let's get an impression of what that sounds like. Hi, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a new video about Vegas Pro 19. In this tutorial, we are going over the feature which is called text to speech to see how cool and realistic this feature sounds. All right, that sounds very, very accurate. It doesn't sound like this robot voice or like Google Translate that you have just a lot of bunch of words and that they're just putting it together and just pronouncing it like every single word as a standalone word and then just paste it on each other. It's really, really nice. So right here, of course, we have also the US female, which is Jenny. Let's click on that one. Let's see what this sounds like. Hi, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a new video about Vegas Pro 19. In this tutorial, we are going over the feature, which is called text to speech to see how cool and realistic this feature sounds. So that's really nice. So let's say that you don't have a budget to, you know, let's like purchase a voiceover from somebody that has to dub or voiceover in a video that's like uh, like an hour and a half long, let's say a documentary. And it's really nice that you can just load in your script right here. And then if you are ready, you can just click on insert. And then right here, obviously we have our voice in the timeline. It's really nice that if you want to have a lot more more edits to this voice. Let's say that you want to add in certain effects. You can just click on this button right here, the effects one, and then we can just add in a reverb. Now that's gonna bring up this menu. And if we play it back, this is basically the voice that we generated, but then with reverb. Hi, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a new video about Vegas Pro 19. 
In this tutorial we are going over the feature which is called text to speech to see how cool and realistic this feature sounds. So that's really really nice you can also apply like certain amounts of EQ to it and compression to make everything sound exactly the same so it's really really nice that you can just create your own let's say that you have one of these sh like short reels or that you have like a photo gallery that you want to have overdubbed with a voice and it's really really cool that you can just go back to this feature by going to tools hit text to speech at the very top and then we can just overlay that onto the videos that we have or the photos that we have it is very very cool now I, of course i had to point out like i mentioned in the beginning of this video you need an actual license for a vegas pro 365 it will not work in the regular version of vegas pro and that is basically how it works the link is down in the description if you want to get started it's a really nice feature it's really realistic and that is the text-to-speech feature <music>